I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a fraction comparison problem. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry at Romano Scientific and the author of the Dat Destroyer book and the creator of the Orgoman products. I'd like to go over a question with you, or actually Professor Blois is going to go over a question with you on fraction comparisons. A sure bet question on the DAT exam. Professor, if you'll do the honor and show us how to do it. Okay, this is a fraction comparison question. Professor Blois here. Which fraction is smallest? Now, I've chosen this set of fractions so I can show you four different techniques of fraction comparison, of which determining which fraction is larger. On a standard DAT test, you may not have to, not have to use all four techniques, but I constructed this, as I say, so all four techniques will be displayed. All right, which fraction is smallest? Well, let's take uh, the easiest way, uh, pro probably the most apparent way, the most obvious way, is to uh, find the common denominator. Look at fractions B and C. You can see that you can find the common denominator for each of those by multiplying uh, 5 eighths by 2 over 2. That gives us 10 over 16. All right, well, that's, now that's easy to compare with 11 over 16. 10 over 16 is smaller. So that means if we're looking for the smallest, we can eliminate choice C because that's uh, larger than 10 sixteenths. All right, now let's look at 7 twelfths. Let's look at the first two, 7 twelfths and 5 eighths. Which one of these is larger? Here's a handy little technique. If the numbers are convenient and small enough, here's what you do to, to find out which fraction is smaller. Take the denominator of one fraction and multiply it by the numerator of the other. 8 times 7 is 56. Then do the same in the opposite direction. Take the denominator here. 12 times 5 is 60. Well, the larger number lies over the larger fraction. The smaller number lies over the smaller fraction. So 7 twelfths is smaller than uh, 5 eighths. So now at this point, I can cross out the second fraction, 5 eighths. So now we're just dealing with uh, three remaining ones, 7 twelfths, 7 elevenths, and 9 fourteenths. Okay, let's tackle these two, 7 twelfths and 7 elevenths. Well, we have the technique of common denominator. Now we have the technique of common numerator. 7 twelfths or 7 elevenths, which fraction is larger? Well, the denominator tells you how many pieces the pie is divided up into. The larger number of pieces the pie is divided into, the smaller the pieces. So these are seven smaller pieces, 7 twelfths, and 7 elevenths is seven larger pieces. So that means 7 eleven is larger. So we can cross that out. We're looking for the smallest, so we can cross 7 elevenths out. So now, one remaining comparison between 7 twelfths and 9 fourteenths. And this is the method, this is a sort of a, a, little, a little more esoteric method of comparison. I want to look at how far each of these fractions is from 1. How far do I have to go to get to 1 from 7 twelfths? It's plus 5 twelfths. Five units. Seven twelfths plus five twelfths is equal to twelve twelfths, which is equal to one. What about nine fourteenths? Nine fourteenths plus five fourteenths is equal to fourteen fourteenths. That's also equal to one. This is the method that I call shortfall. So five twelfths and five fourteenths is the amount of shortfall from one. Well, which one of these fractions is bigger, 5 twelfths or 5 fourteenths? 5 twelfths is bigger. So because 7 twelfths lies at a greater shortfall, it falls short of 1 by a greater amount than 9 fourteenths. That means 7 twelfths is the smaller of the two numbers. I can cross out 9 fourteenths, and there is my answer. The smallest fraction is 7 twelfths. So there we are. Okay, I hope you guys have learned. Go back to this video and then re-go over this. That was a very nice technique on that. I've never seen anyone quite do it like that. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'll hit you up in study group if you had any questions. Um, go to this. It's a very important problem. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.